Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. So I know some of you guys are still struggling a bit on the Heroic Chapter 3, notably the boss. I told you guys to try Reno, and I gave you guys a pretty solid example of how it works. Uh, I want to give you guys another one today. Um, this is the Hyper Hero Power Reno. I've been playing Tombs of Terror all week long, and I've loved it. And, uh, well, I got to play Reno in the first week, so I have a lot of experience with Reno. Possibly there's some super secret, hidden, effective strategies with Elise, and, uh, well, if I find them, I'll let you know, but I do know for a fact that there are some really good Reno combos out there, and one of them has to do with the hero power that's kind of like an arcane missile hero power, and it refreshes when it kills a minion. Now, this hero power actually works a little bit differently than the typical arcane missile card because, well, instead of spell damage scaling the number of missiles, spell damage actually scales the damage and it's notably effective when there's a lot of minions, and because it's basically like the death rattle wing of Tombs of Terror, it's as good as it ever gets. Scaling this thing is absolutely crazy, and I've done some awesome combos, particularly in one of the runs yesterday, so I wanna show you guys that, inspire you to some Reno Jackson strategies in the Tombs of Terror, and maybe you guys can find out what's possible along these lines. Enjoy it, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Eight health, huh? Guess it'll just be another stepping stone. Now, we did do more than this earlier, but... Not a lot more. This is... this is pretty sweet. Forty. Okay. We win. I'm gonna do Aegis. I think Flame Ward will probably buy me a little bit of time. Opening hand sprint's definitely no good. We have a bit more time than normal. But not a crazy amount. Alright. Fine, let's play that. Let's crash this body. Oh right, he has a crazy amount of mana when he starts. I forgot. I have no time for games. Kidding me, bro? I think the taunts are going to be good, but my hand is pretty clogged right now. I'm going to keep one coin because... Oh! Maybe he is, like, rigged to top deck Sylvanas when he phase changes. I think that makes sense. Not much else makes sense. So. Yeah, I don't want to deal with Sylvanas and chain resin crap, so... Alright, 
that's pretty bad. Huh? Oh, he doesn't get one because he's at 10 cards when he plays it. Another one. Damn. Realize what's coming in store for me. This is clog my hand so hard. Black Mage, Firelands, Jaina. to cast that to return. Hmm. Alright. A little bit of luck here. Didn't get it. Seven drop. That's some really high quality minions right there. <laughs> what? Why? Okay. I mean, if that lands, it's, it's so crazy. 14 it's damage a pop. Pretty unlikely to finish the game, but not that bad. Don't worry, I got it. Good. So what we want is him to nuke his own guy and his board is full so he can't play anything. There you go. Thing is, the rest is at the bottom. Like, there's, there's more to go here. I'm gonna try to play it slow. Oh, right, Sylvanas. Oh, right, Rez Sylvanas. 
Totally forgot about that. one card I want to mill, five cards in the deck, I'm milling one of them. That's totally fine. Might as well get the first hit in, right? Yeah. Come on, dude, what is that? the hand space. You're at nine now. No, no, not quite. I suppose you have a little bit of time. <laughs> my cat? Reactor core online. Where's my cat? Where's my cat? They're double coins, please. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. I guess. Welcome to the show. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> that's those are the kind of death rattles I'm looking for, all right? <laughs> <laughs> 